We learned that a chemical reaction occurs between two or more substances called reactants. Well, in this lesson, we are going to focus on determining the coefficient for a particular reactant based on how many of the atoms for particular elements that we need to have in those reactants. Well, let's look at this example. We have two reactants, one, two. And the task is determine the coefficient. Notice water has a coefficient of two, and this one, we don't have a coefficient. So what coefficient will have 11 oxygen atoms? The whole entire thing has 11 oxygen atoms, okay? 11 O. And once you determine the coefficient, you're going to count how many of atoms for each element from all the reactants above. So let's look at this. Well, we're going to focus on oxygen. Well, in this case, water right here, the coefficient 2, 2 times 1, that gives us 2 of oxygen right there. Then over here, we have what? We have 3 right there. So we can say that this question mark can be represented by the letter X. So we can say that this is 3x right there. And when we combine the two reactants together, what do we need to have? 11 oxygen. So we can take that. This plus this equal to 11. So if that's the case, 3x plus 2 equal to 11. Can we solve for x? Yes, we minus 2 on both sides. That cancel out. And what do we have here? That gives us a total of 9. And that 9 is equal to 3x. And we're going to divide both sides by 3. Right there. And what happened is the 3 cancel out equal to x. And 9 divided by 3 give us what? 3. So 3 is equal to x. So in this case, this is going to be 3. Now we're going to count the number of atoms for each element below. Potassium, since this is 3, so 3 times 1 give us 3. And for nitrogen, 3 times 1 here give us 3. And for oxygen, we have here 3 times 3 give us 9. But that's not the only place where we find oxygen. Over here, we also have 2 times 1 give us 2 oxygen. So what is 9 plus 2? That give us 11 oxygen, which is exactly what we're looking for right there. And then for hydrogen, well, 2 times 2, that give us 4 hydrogen. So here we have a total of 11 oxygen atoms. So therefore, we can prove that this coefficient must be 3 to get ourselves a total of 11 oxygen atoms from both of these reactants. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Here I have two reactants. And you notice it looks a lot more complicated, right? But here, it doesn't have a coefficient. And that's because I need to know that this must be a 1 there. The underlying part, that's where it's going to be the question mark going to be. What is that coefficient going to be right there? Well, again, determine what the coefficient will be in order to have, what, 4 sodium. And again, count the atoms again for each element once we're done. And the question is this, 4 sodium. Sodium is Na. We don't have any sodium over here, so that is 0 sodium. But what we notice here, we have 2 Na. See that 2 right there? So again, we're going to represent this question mark is always equal to x, right? So we can say that this side right here, we have 2 times x, okay? And when we combine them together, what do we need to have for the total of this side? Well, we have 0 plus 2x equal to what? 4. And I'm going to read right over here. 0 plus 2x equal to 4. Well, if that's the case, 0, we can just ignore it. Can we solve for x, which is right here? Well, divide both sides by 2. And that cancel out. And x is equal to what? 2. So in this case, our x is equal to 2. So this right here is equal to 2. Now the next step is just count it. And of course, some of you already used your common sense math skill already know. That has to be two because over here has no sodium. This is just a way for you to prove it mathematically. Well, for sodium, we know that two times two give us four. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And over here, we have no sodium. So the total must be four. This is what we want. 
And then for carbon, we have carbon here, two times one right there, give us two, and no carbon here, that's calcium right there. And then for oxygen, we have what? This is a little bit tricky. Two times three, what is that? That is six right there. But over here, we also have oxygen. We also have two times three, that gives us six. So what is six plus six? So oxygen is six plus six gives us 12. And then for calcium, that's a one right there. One times one is just one. And then we have nitrogen. Over here, of nitrogen right here, two times what? Two times one. Well, in this case, it's just going to be two. That's a sodium. That's not a nitrogen. So we are done. Now let's try another problem together. In this case, it's more complicated. The same thing, two reactants. We have the coefficient for water there, and we're looking for this coefficient. And in this case, we want 29 oxygen atoms. So the total must be 29, okay? And let's go back and look at oxygen. Over here, we have a 1. And 1 times 2, what's that going to be? Well, that's just it's going to be 2. But over here, we have oxygen right here. And we notice that there are 3 of 3 oxygen. What is 3 times 3? Well, 3 times 3 gives us 9. If that's the case, this must be, again, the question mark is equal to x. So this is x right here. So what we're going to have here is 9x, right? And combine them together, we have 2 plus 9x equal to what? 29. Now, can we solve for x? Of course we can do that. We're going to minus 2 on both sides, minus 2 on both sides. And what we have here is going to be 9x, okay? And that's equal to 27. And then we divide both sides by 9. That cancel out. x is equal to what? 3. So therefore, this must be 3 right there. And let's prove. Well, for example, in this case, let's go down all the way to oxygen. Over here, I have 2 times 1. That gives us 2 oxygen. Okay. So we have 2 already. And over here, we have 3 times 9. That's 27. So right here, 3 times 9 is 27. What's 2 plus 27 gave us 29. This is exactly what we want. And then aluminum, again, 3 times 1 gave us 3. Nitrogen, ooh, over here, 3 times 1, right there, right? 3 times 1 is 3, but then we multiply by 3, that gave us 9. And then for hydrogen, we have 2 times 2, that gave us 4. So that is how you apply mathematical skill to solve for the coefficient in a chemical formula. So that is how you apply your mathematical skill to express in terms of a variable to solve for the coefficient.